Hey guys, welcome back to Eileen's World. In today's video, join me on a three-day Sahara Desert tour from Marrakesh to the Sahara Desert. If you're nosy and want to find out what it's really like to camp in the desert, and if this trip is really worth it, then make sure you just keep on watching. Before we head into the desert, let's go over some of the basics. I booked this trip through Civitatis for $200 per person. This includes accommodation, some meals, transportation, and an English-speaking tour guide. There are two different types of packages, standard and luxury. The only difference is the type of accommodation on the second night. We went for the luxury option since it was only a $50 difference. And if you want more information about traveling to Marrakesh, then make sure you check out my travel guide. Good morning, it is eight o'clock. We are meeting with our tour group in front of Cafe de France which is highly don't recommend you going there. Um, this is our van that we'll be traveling in. We had about 15 people in our group and that's Mohammed, our English and Spanish speaking tour guide for the next three days. Mm, we're at the first stop. It's only been an hour. I had to wake up from my nap. Oh. So on our first stop, we went to a cafe where we were given 20 minutes to get some breakfast, coffee, and use the bathroom. Which is very clean by the way, but they do expect you to drop some coin if you want to go to the bathroom. Stop number two, which was almost an hour from when we left. It's almost 11 o'clock. We are in Tishka. Here is the road that we took to get up. Luckily, I took my drama mean this morning, my motion sickness pills, because um, I feel great. <laughs> I love those pills. Even though I took a nap and I wasn't looking outside of the window, I could still feel the car just making turns and turns and turns, so. At around 12 o'clock, I was woken up from my nap to visit the Berber village in Unila Valley. All right, the cats are being herded back into the van. Off we go to our next stop. All right, stop number four. We are going to an optional tour, which is only 20 dirham, so why not? It should take about an hour, and then we are gonna have lunch after. We've been stopping pretty much every hour. We're now making our way into the village. As you can see, it's very dry. There's no shade, so make sure you pack a hat, sunscreen, sunglasses, water. Very important. Do you see my sweat, tears? I'm crying because it's so hot. This hat isn't helping much, barely covers my ears. Ugh. This area is probably best known for all of the movies that have been filmed here, like Gladiator, Prince of Persia, and of course, Game of Thrones. We also had the chance to try some local bread made by the people that lived in this Berber village. We're now here at a restaurant, which is full of everybody who's just finished the tour. Here are your menu options. Oh, I could really use an orange juice right now. Even if it's, well, it's not that bad, it's $2. It's fine, it's fine, it's, it's fine. I'm so miserable, I'm so hot. Why is it like I'm the only one who's sweating here? It's making me insecure about myself. <laughs> but a guy did tell me that I was a strong woman because I was carrying this backpack all the way up the mountain. They need more strong women here. So option two, which is the chicken tangine. Looks good, let's see how it tastes. We have carrots, potatoes, 
chicken. Here's our kefta tagine. It's boiling. We just finished with our lunch. It was a three course meal. And you know what? It wasn't that bad. Everything was, it was tasty. Enough food, more than enough food. Included the drink, easy peasy. Not bad. Not bad for a tourist trap. So we're at our, like our fifth stop and I'm not particularly sure what this building is but we're advised to take photos. I think we're at our last stop for water and bathroom or for drinks and bathroom. It's starting to get really hot in the van and the AC is like not working that strong in my seat at least and I think we should be at our hotel in the next hour I'll check back we did it we made it to our hotel for the night which is called Kasba Auberge restaurant Tifa Wen so we got the luxury package but uh, the hotel for the first night is the same regardless if you get the luxury or the standard. The only difference is that tomorrow when we are in the desert, uh, we will have a bathroom that is inside of our tent, our camp versus a communal shower because I'm shy. So I think it was an extra $50 per person to have the luxury camp. Wow, look at this view from the terrace of our hotel. I have to say it was quite a beautiful drive even though I was sleeping most of the time but when I woke up and took a peek I was like mm, it's nice out there room tour so we have this double bed here and there's two twin beds Wow, we could really fit a whole family here. And we have, wow, look at our little patio terrace. Not the fanciest, but it'll do. It looks clean, simple for the night. There's definitely some wear and tear in the sheets here. This, this ain't no four seasons, but it'll do for the night. Back in our room post dinner. I was quite impressed with dinner. The presentation was as if we were at a Michelin star restaurant. It, all the food tasted okay. We had a zucchini soup, which was good, but you had to add salt. And then we had this really good eggplant salad with cheese and tomato, and like a little puff pastry with like a tomato it reminded me of the Moroccan salad we had yesterday, like a tomato filling. And then for the main, we had uh, chicken kebabs, but they were like breaded with some spaghetti and more vegetables. The chicken was a little dry, but aside from that, they kind of tasted like chicken nuggets. So I liked it. And then for dessert, we had like a yellow cake, sponge cake with bananas and uh, some fruit. So overall, considering how much we're paying for this entire excursion and everything, and anyway, good night. See you guys tomorrow. After a filling breakfast at the hotel, we were all back on the bus and back on the road again. So my main concern every time we go somewhere is, where am I gonna go be? And is it gonna be clean? And I have to say, with all these stops, there's plenty of places to go pee, and they're all really clean. Okay, we're at our first official stop. That's not a bathroom or a drink stop. 
And this is where they have all the palm trees. Second <laughs> stop of the day, the Grand Canyon of Morocco. We got, we stopped at a shop and they threw this on us. And then we all took a photo with this background. It's so hot at this. <laughs> we are on our lunch break, which was just another 30 minutes in the car. And I think we have almost two hours here. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. Ah, Tangine. No way. As if you couldn't tell already, the meals start to get really repetitive. It's between chicken, beef, tangine, or kebabs. Part of the luxury package is that they'll also take all of our luggage to the camp versus everyone else who has to just take what they need for the night and leave their luggage here. We're on our way to meet our match, to meet our camel match. to the desert wow. we've made a pit stop to watch the sunset and to kind of rest a little bit because riding a camel is whoo, taxing on your body and it's just only a little dangerous when you're getting up and when you're or sorry not when you when the camel's getting up and when you're getting down yeah Exactly what I need after a hot camel ride in the hot desert. Hot tea. Ah, refreshing. We just finished tea. We got walked to our room. Let's ready for the room tour. Wow, look at this. Uh, we have a couch area. We have two twin beds and like two twins put together, so whatever size that becomes. Toilet. Mirror. Oh, is this a shower? Or Oh, this is a shower. Oh, with the shower head and the curtains. Oh, we have another little sitting area here too. Wow. Got these pretty lights up here. So yeah, this is totally luxury we are starting with a salad that has oranges eggs tomato cucumber onions typical typical salad oh we have like a vegetarian tagine so we have eggplant cheese butter and tomatoes underneath i thought the tagine the eggplant tagine which was so good was our main meal so i ate up every bite um but no it's not we got some chicken rice potatoes what is that sauerkraut onions <laughs> chickpeas garbanzo beans garbanzo beans and green beans and green beans and carrots i'm delirious i don't know what's what anymore <laughs> Okay, everything's so far so good in this luxury camp, except there's no fans and there's no breeze. It's so, so, so hot, hot. In dinner, in, in this tent, and in our room too. Oh boy. Don't worry, we're just in the middle of a sandstorm. And luckily for us, sorry, I mean unluckily for us, I had the windows and 
doors open before we went to dinner, so. All right, so after our dessert, uh, Jose and I left and we were told that they're gonna have a little musical performance and I just needed to go to the bathroom really quickly and the show's already started. It's pouring outside um, and it's kind of blocked off so I don't want to disrupt the performance by walking in so I just watched from the outside but it's pretty cool. It's really late though, it's like 11 o'clock but it's nice to see an experience. I'm gonna go take a shower and call it a night because it's 11 o'clock. Jose's in bed. He might be dead. I don't know. Uh, and I know that tomorrow we're supposed to watch the sunrise, which is at 6:45, and we should have breakfast before that as well too. Should I even sleep at this point? Good morning. It's time for breakfast. It's 6.30. I woke up at 5 because I didn't know what time we had to be up by. So I spent all morning just peering through the windows and seeing when people were awake. <laughs> so the camp didn't look like this when we came in yesterday, but we had a desert storm last night. So it's been through a lot, okay? <laughs> Our little like red carpet walkway is destroyed. Okay, making our way up to go see. You know, it's really hard to walk on sand. Like what the guy told me yesterday. He said step by step. But step by step, I keep on falling. These are the chairs that I need to make it up to. At this rate, we're going to miss the sunset. Sorry, sunrise. All right, we have reunited with the rest of our group. I feel like I'm being choked by this thing. I'm gonna vomit. We made a pit stop for IG photos. Duh, obviously. Okay, it's sand boarding time. <laughs> After we all made it back to the Riyadh with our quads, we got back into the minivan and made our 10 hour journey back into Marrakesh, arriving by 8 p.m. The drive back was pretty uneventful. We made one stop for lunch and two bathroom breaks, but no more sightseeing. So what are my final thoughts for this three day Sahara desert tour? You gotta do it. For $200, you see and do so much more than just riding on a camel and sleeping in the desert. Yes, the journey is super long, but it's pretty comfortable and full of stops to keep you entertained. For me, the sunset camel ride with the full moon was a highlight and truly unforgettable. The only downside is that the actual camping in the desert part is too short. You arrive after sunset and you leave right after sunrise. And of course, the lunch options could be improved, but it is what it is. So if you're planning on going into the Sahara Desert soon, or if you have any questions about this trip, please let me know down in the comments below. Shukran for watching!